I'm here today with Scott Barrett. Scott, how you doing? Doing good. We're here today to talk about stripers. Yeah. Stripers, that's been an interesting topic here in the state of Kentucky. I'll tell you what, they go in several bodies of water, obviously Lake Cumberland being the, mm -hmm. the, the one that gets a good majority of our stripers. Tell me the process of what you guys do and how, how do you take a striper? Because it's such a unique fish in the wild. You guys are doing this in a fish hatchery, but that's a fish that spends some of its time in salt water, right? That's right, we have them in one acre ponds. We will start those ponds draining at least 24 hours in advance, and we'll creep the pond down slowly so it gives all the fish time to kind of come down towards the deeper end. And our ponds are, they start out shallow and end up, they, they have a gradual slope down into this catch basin. We'll crack them open, drain them down, and once we get them all down in the, into the kettle there, at that point we can get in with a, with a seine and uh, seine those out. We have uh, a lot of help down there. We have some big tubs, like garbage cans, you can imagine. We flip them out of the seine into those cans, and then we have employees carry them up the steps. We have these smaller tanks on our pickup trucks, and they'll pour them into there. We have O2 rolling on those tanks and some good clean water. When we get done, we'll take those up the hatchery and into our main building there in our tank room. And we got a big pipe that you hook up to the smaller tank that lets us shoot them off into these tanks. We have eight individual concrete runs in the hatchery, so we can shoot them off the truck into those runs. And at that point, we can begin to process them. We'll do sample counts on each individual size and get an idea how many per pound for each size class. That way we can weigh them and put them onto larger hauling trucks to go out, you know, either that afternoon or the next day a lot of the time. It's an amazing process. When I hear you walking through all the time, effort, and energy of feeding and draining and grading, it's like having a big garden. It is. But it's, uh, it's, you, you know, your output is uh, is fish. Or fish, yeah. It's Live the same, fish. same principle. It's farming, but uh, we're raising fish, you know. We've been talking about stripers, striped bass, and uh, priority one is always Lake Cumberland. And that's the area you've been working for how many years now? 17 years now. 17 years. Yep. So how many years have we been stocking Lake Cumberland now? We've been stocking, doing experimental stockings all the way back into the 50s and 60s. What makes Lake Cumberland, you know, like Priority One, such a perfect destination for stripers? So striped bass need a cool, oxygenated water. Um, and, and Lake Cumberland, being as deep as it is, has a lot of cold water available. And so we've got this two-layer fishery where we've got our warm water species, like your, your black bass and, and crappie and bluegill and sunfish. Um, but then we also have a really cold, oxygenated water below that, that we can have a good walleye fishery, a great striped bass fishery. And so that's what makes Cumberland is so awesome, is, is we do have both of those features. So when you guys go to Stockholm, how do you you decide what part of the lake do you have to be near deep water I mean do they do really well the first couple years not being in certain areas or do you spread them out from dam to headwaters we actually spread them out we have 10 different locations that we stock around Lake Cumberland um, we don't like to put all of our eggs in one basket <laughs> um, so we stock about 50,000 at the 10 different locations so okay. we're doing 500,000 fish um, total in Lake Cumberland each year now okay so three-year-old fish that first one at 500,000 you're, you're talking about these fish are legal right at this yes, point yes yes so any fish like the fish we stock in 2023 they're going to be legal size going into the end of 2025 okay. so they they're very fast growers in Lake Cumberland um, it doesn't take them long to, to reach a 22 inch size limit I really appreciate all your hard hard work and efforts we like yes. doing it thank you you're welcome